and welcome back to my channel, Torathena, where today I'm doing a comic book review. I bet you've missed those. I can't remember the last time I did one. Well, no need to worry because I'm back and I'm doing them and hopefully I will now be able to do them every week from now on. So let's waste absolutely no time in doing it and let's get going. Circuit Breaker by Image Comics. Written by Kevin McCarthy and drawn by Kyle Baker. When the heroic robots that saved Japan during World War IV are outlawed, they turn against mankind, waging a campaign of terror across the last city on Earth. Their creator builds one more soldier disguised as his teenage granddaughter and tasks her with dismantling the marauding mechanical militia. But as she begins to question her programming, will she be the last hope for humanity? or the final nail in the coffin. So what did I think? In reality, I loved this concept. The story just sounds brilliant. However, although the pacing was fast and exciting, the narration was a little too confusing. The animation, although suited to the setting of Japan, being very manga style, didn't really suit the actual dark story and constantly threw me off. Overall, personally, this comic wasn't for me. I won't be picking up the second issue, but that, to be honest, is more to personal preference. The Shadow Glass by Dark Horse Comics. Written and drawn by Ali Fell. A young student of England's greatest occultist learns her real father is in league with the devil. When Rose finds out that the man who's raised her isn't her father, she ignores his warnings about the terrible secrets of her own past and seeks answers from her childhood teacher, Dr. John Dee the Queen's occult advisor. So what did I think? Well, first off, the art is simply sensational. Being set in the 1500s, I just loved the period drama-esque look of it all. It had a feel of an old children's book as I loved when I was a kid, and yet had the rustic warmth that matched the period and setting of the comic. It's weird the story itself is very exciting, but the narration of it has a very calm pacing. This isn't necessarily a bad thing, as it kept me gripped without confusing you, and definitely gives you the feeling that it's about to pick up momentum. Overall, I fell in love with this comic the more I read it. I'm definitely picking up the second issue just to see where it goes. And da 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 da! And it's my pick of the week, and it's Delete by Devil Dew First Comics which I think is actually a first for me to review any of their comics. And written by Jimmy Palmiotti and Justin Gray, and drawn by John Timms. In the near future, where scientists can implant or remove human memories, and the government uses brain scan technology in criminal investigations, a mute girl witnesses a multiple murder and must turn to a mentally disabled handyman for protection from the police and an army of killers. So what did I think? Before I even read the comic, I could tell from the cover alone this was probably going to be my pick of the week, and I was right. This has the feeling of Leon meets Of Mice and Men, and both stories broke my heart, so I am very nervous about continuing to read this. The art is simple, bold and bright, and perfectly matches the tone and excitement written in this comic. It's simply page to page, edge of the seat, gripping. Overall, this comic had my attention from the first page on. I fell in love with this story quickly and hard. I'm scared to where it's gonna go, but if I could only subscribe to one comic this week, this would be it. You have to read it. Well, that's it for this week, guys. Thank you so much for watching it. I hope you're happy to see this face back doing comic reviews. This face is really tired, and I've got like these little red lines here, but <laughs> I'm back and I'm doing comic reviews, that's what's important. And I will hopefully see you very soon with a lot more awesome videos coming up. And thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and comment because it makes my day. And I will see you soon. Bye!